any other person, black or white, in American history. Over 50 million people have clicked to watch that video. And once you see that video, you can never unsee that video. And that's why George Floyd is changing the world. Because we know, America, we're better than this. We know, America, that we're more just than this. We know, America, that we're more humane than this. In this historic agreement, the largest pre-trial settlement in a police civil rights wrong for death case in U.S. history makes a statement that George Floyd deserved better than what we witnessed on May 25th, 2020. That George Floyd life matters. And by extension, black lives matter. It sends a message that the unjust taking of black life will no longer be written off as trivial, unimportant, or unworthy of consequences. We have just seen the biggest payment for a murder of George Floyd. Minneapolis, $27 million. We know Benjamin Krupp will get one third, that's nine million. But not only do they owe us for George Floyd death, but hundreds of thousands, millions of deaths that haven't been paid for. This is why we fight so hard for reparations. We fight so hard to get what we are rightfully owed in this country. There are countless numbers of lives like George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and so many others throughout history who were never paid, who were hung from trees, who were castrated. This is why we fight for reparations. And this is why every black person in America, especially our politicians, the only word that should be on their mind right now is reparations. We should put our foots, foots on the neck of the government because everything you see today was government sponsored by the United States for over 400 years. The death of black men and black women were seen as trivial throughout history. But now, with this historic agreement and so many others, we're starting to hold them accountable money-wise. But we still haven't held them accountable justice-wise. So many of these officers have gotten off scot-free for their crimes. Now, we need to see Derek Chauvin and the rest of those thugs put in prison. No more should we sit by and watch them go free as they pay us 27 million, 12 million with Breonna Taylor, but nobody goes to jail. That seems to be the Mopers and die. Pay them off, we'll let the cops off. We have to stand up and say enough is enough. When will this system work for us or will it never work for us? We will see with this trial, they're going through jury selection. Hopefully they find 12 honest human beings and we'll see how the justice system once again works. Will we get justice or just us? as Richard Pryor once said. This 27 million won't bring George Floyd back to his family, to his daughter. 
but it's a small statement that lives do matter, especially black lives. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.